what the gods of Umama were watching. They were angry at Amadi for what he had done and they decided to punish him in a very unusual way. They cursed King who fought uncontrollably. Once upon a time, in the land of Umwama, there was a small village surrounded by thick forests and tall mountains. The people of Umwama lived peacefully, led by their kind and wise King Obi. King Obi was loved by all because he was fair and always took care of his people. But there was one thing that made him very sad. He had no children. For many years, King Obi and his wife prayed to the gods for a child, but none came. As time passed, Obi's younger brother, Amadi, grew restless. He wanted to be king, but as long as Obi was alive, Amadi could never sit on the throne. One bright morning, after many years of waiting, a miracle happened. Queen Adobe, Obi's wife, gave birth to a baby boy. The entire village celebrated for this child. Prince Chidi would one day become the king of Umwama. King Obi and Queen Adobe were overjoyed and they threw a grand feast for the whole village. However, Amadi was not happy. He was filled with anger and jealousy. He had hoped that Obi would never have a child so that he could become king. The best of Prince Chidi shattered his dreams and he began to plot something terrible. One dark and stormy night, when the moon was hidden behind the thick clouds, Amadi crept into the royal palace. He was as quiet as a snake and no one saw him. He sneaked into King Obi and Queen Adobe's room and did something unforgivable. He killed them both while they slept with no one to protect baby Chidi. Amadi carried him away into the night and threw him into the evil forest, a place so dark and so dangerous that no one who entered ever came out alive. Amadi thought he had gotten rid of the baby forever, but the gods of Umama were watching. They were angry at Amadi for what he had done, and they decided to punish him in a very unusual way. The girls cursed Amadi so that he would fart loudly and uncontrollably wherever he went. This curse was not only embarrassing, but also very painful. And no matter how many native doctors he visited, no one could cure him. Amadi soon declared himself king of Umama, but the people were not happy. They missed their kind king Obi and the queen, and they did not trust Amadi. The new king would sit in the council meetings, but his loud farts would interrupt everything. The villagers whispered behind his back and laughed at him, but they were also afraid because they knew he was dangerous. 
Meanwhile, Baby Chidi, who was left in the evil forest, was not harmed. The gods sent a kind old woman named Neka to fight him. Neka lived on the edge of the forest and had no children of her own. When she heard the baby crying, she followed the sound and found him wrapped in a cloth, lying on the ground. Oh, poor child, Neka said, as she picked him up. Who would have left you alone in this dangerous place? She took baby Chidi home and cared for him as if he were her own son. She named him Chidi, meaning God exists. For she believed that the gods had saved him for a special purpose. Chidi grew up strong and brave, but he always wondered about his true family. Neka told him stories about the good King Obi and the evil forest where he was picked. But she did not know that the baby she had found was the lost prince. Years passed and Chidi became a young man. He was kind and wise, just like his father, King Obi. One day, as he was walking through the forest, he met a group of hunters. They were resting under a tree. When they saw Chidi, they invited him to join them. Come, sit with us, young man, one of the hunters said. You look like you have traveled far. Chidi smiled and sat down. As they ate and talked, one of the hunters mentioned the court king of Omwama. Have you heard about King Amadi? The hunter asked. They said he farts so loudly that it shakes the walls of the palace. The hunters laughed, but Chidi was curious. Why does he fart like that? He asked. It's a curse, another hunter replied. The gods punished him because he did something terrible. Some say he killed his own brother to become the king. Chidi felt a strange feeling in his heart. What happened to the brother's son, he asked. The hunters shook their heads. No one knows. One of them said, they say the baby was thrown into the evil forest, but he must have died long ago, the other replied. Chidi's heart pounded in his chest. Could it be that he was the lost prince of Umoma? He decided that he must find out the truth. That night, Chidi went to Neka and told her, everything he had heard. Neka was quiet for a long time and then she told Chidi the truth about how she found him. My son, she said softly, you are the lost king of Umoma. The gods brought you to me and I raised you as my son. But now it is time for you to take your rightful place in your father's palace. Chidi was shocked but determined. He knew he had to return to Umama and claim his place as the true king. The next day, he set out for the village with Neka's blessing and a heart full of courage. When Chidi arrived at Umoma. The people were amazed to see him. They had heard stories of a young man who looked like King Obi, but they never thought he would return. 
Chidi went straight to the palace where he found Amadi sitting on the throne, looking miserable and tired. Who are you? Amadi demanded with shaky voice. I am Chidi, the son of King Obi, and I have come back to claim what is rightfully mine. Chidi responded boldly. Amadi's face turned pale. He knew that the gods had finally sent the true king to take his place. But before he could say anything, the villagers gathered around the palace, shouting for Amadi to leave. They had suffered under his rule for too long, and they were ready for a change. The gods, who had been watching all along, decided that it was time to end Amadi's reign. They sent a powerful storm that shook the palace and knocked Amadi off the throne. The people dragged him out of the palace and into the evil forest, where he was banished forever. As Amadi stumbled into the dark forest, his furs echoed through the trees and the villagers knew they would never see him again. Soon, Chidi was crowned king of Umama. The people cheered and celebrated for they had a good and just king once again. Under his rule, Umama flourished and the people lived in peace and happiness. Chidi never forgot the love and care that Neka had shown him and he made sure that she lived comfortably for the rest of her days. And so, the story of the cursed king who farted loudly became a lesson in Omama, reminding everyone that the gods are always watching and that justice will always prevail in the end. Do you know that Masa Musa was the ninth king of the Mali Empire, which was very powerful when he ruled? His time as a king is seen as the best and the strongest time for Mali. Masa Musa was one of the richest people ever. He was so rich that people couldn't even imagine how much money he had. Most of his wealth came from the Mali Empire, which made money by controlling and tasking the trade of salt from the north and the gold from the south. Thanks for watching. Love from the classic stories.